Visitors which have uh, approached the volcano, one of the lava flows of it, and their cars, which are 4 by 4 all-terrain cars, have provided us with the scale to actually measure the height of the volcano. This is the K1 volcano we are talking about. This is the lava flow. I had a video about it. Northward, northward flow actually is going now toward the west. And these people, I believe they are volcanologists, they are going to take sample or take measurements or collect, you know, uh, data about the gas pollution. Either of this, anyway, this is their car and this is the lava flow and the K1 volcano. My estimate was previously 55. I now believe that this is the accurate and satisfying height. The other side of it, which is the shorter side towards the south, is 50 meter, and that side is 55 meter. And uh, I have videos about it. I will show you there. This is, uh, these are the videos from several days ago. You can see that I was right on that. Yesterday, we had a rare phenomenon, the draining of the lava pool in the K1. I have not seen it in any other volcano in this area, definitely. And this is what happened. We had the lava oozing out all the time through that smoking uh, lava tube into this uh, contained uh, uh, lava pool and then as the time goes by you can see that this starts to boil that's the sign that the lava is getting drained if something is uh, creating a vertex in it and practically uh, breaking the hard surface of the uh, crust of the lava and then it starts to boil as it drains so that's what we know when it starts to have this kind of flashes it's going to drain this is a lava pool which is interesting because we are seeing it now draining i'm speeding up so you can see quickly this is 200 times i'm speeding it up and uh, as you can see it does it very dramatically i wanted always to know the depth of it i had my guesses now with this i can say that the depth of this uh, um, lava pool is interestingly deep and I will wait then I will go now I'll brighten up the image a little bit just slightly for you so you can see that the height of this side of the volcano is 50 meters the other side probably is around 55 to 60 and as you can see here <coughs> I've marked it uh, my markers are there this is 50 meter to my estimate the lava pool from the base of that uh, surrounding area which is not very big actually 16 meter and the depth to the uh, bottom of the lava pool i guess must be around at least nine meters this is what what i can see uh, so far with the amount of the lava drained so this one is around nine meters or uh, give or take uh, minus one uh, or plus one and that's the depth of the volcano these are the dimensions a huge chunk of the lava tube has collapsed in the K1 volcano of the sourcing volcanic system of the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland. We have a lava tube smoking and you can see that the collapse happens. This is the um, MBL camera at 1642. You can see that a long section of this uh, uh, wall which is a part of it is on the lava tube collapsed and then we have a big splash the splash just continues this is the, again from the north side view you can see that the collapse happens uh, dust rises and then we have a splash also as you can see here again this is another angle the same toward looking toward the east as you can see collapse happens we have a, a dust rising and then a big splash coming after this and yeah any moment you can see the splash these are two times the speeded up by the way collapse happens now and you saw the splash this is the ruv camelot 1642 i can see that there seems to be an earthquake or something i didn't see anything yet on the meteorological office of iceland but this is huge dramatic the best view probably is our uv camera providing this it's looking at the toward the uh, north east this is the view that we have here probably the best view the lava tube practically is like a sail and against the wind wind even can collapse it Help, earthquake may help this is another view from the ruv against 1642 a huge dust cloud and then a big splash followed that this is the collapse of the 
while creating this uh, lava tube is practically hollow and uh, yeah you can see the splash any moment yeah my estimate of the segment of this lava tube wall which has collapsed is around 12 meter and this is based on the scale that we have uh, in the previous eruption of the k1 when people went close to it and now this height of the uh, highest point of this k1 crater is uh, 55 meter to my estimate is lava tube is a hollow structure so it's not very strong it's formed when we have over a spill and creates a hard crust on top of it then the hard crust works as a lava tube it can collapse due to the earthquake wind you know uh, instability heavy weight of itself under gravity and this was a dramatic event for today